Flowers, they don't last forever, until now. We're gonna trace out some flowers onto some MDF, cut it out using a jigsaw, and then mount it to the wall. This way, you can make flowers that last forever. All right, let's head to my studio and get started. All we did for this project is we took an image of a flower to an office supply store and we had it printed out and enlarged on Blueprint Architectural Prints. Our goal is to transfer our enlarged flower image onto our MDF board. The MDF board is what our final flower is going to be cut out of. And now we're ready to transfer our image onto our MDF board and we're going to be doing this with graphite. Now you want to work on the back side of the print, so we'll flip it over. So we're going to use our graphite to actually rub onto the back of our printed surface. So the next thing we have to do is flip this over and get it lined up on our MDF board. Now this is where we're going to be tracing our image onto the MDF boards. Now what you want to do is you basically just want to draw right on top of your architectural print and outline that image again. So I just peel up an end, and this looks so good. Our image has now been beautifully transferred onto our MDF board, and now we're ready to start cutting. And now that we're done with jigsawing, we're ready for the next step. This involves going over all of our initial tracing lines that we traced out so carefully earlier using a thicker, high-quality paint pen. We'll also clean up the edge using India ink so that it merges seamlessly with the surface. So let me show you how it's done. Take your brush, load it up with some ink, and just dab it to the side. Now the reason why we're adding this India ink is that it adds a nice graphic edge to our project, but it also hides all of that brown MDF color that we don't exactly want to show. So what we want to do next is we want to use our paint pen to trace over the lines of graphite that we made earlier and we'll just start going over the lines that we marked off before. So you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna trace out all of these lines. It's gonna take about an hour or so, and when you're done, it's gonna look just like this. Now we're ready to actually start applying our color. We're gonna go ahead, we want a nice watercolory effect here. Our flower is finally done, and I think the colors look gorgeous. I have about two or three more to do, and then we'll let them dry overnight. So I'll see you at the space. To watch me brighten up a blank wall using these amazing flowers and even more creative wall decor ideas, watch the second season of Blank Wall Overhaul on Blueprint. <laughs>